I want it to be. Good afternoon, if anyone's around. Ooh, looks better on TV actually. bits and bobs on that I think that'll be on hello Susan good afternoon how are you just me and me just showing you these these are some that I've done for the show that I've done oh my word you know when you just don't like something and I, I did all this work and I changed it they all started like this and I just didn't like it. What they were finished like this is like a box I'm doing, but it's to do with the paint effect. This is the linen effect that I was doing with the tap. I can't show it you, but it's got a, like a plaid on it. And I really liked them, but I didn't like them in the end. And I thought, oh my god! So this is a pen art, and this is a chalk paint, the mel uh, the mediums, and all that. So I really thought, okay, well I've got some nice paper, and I thought what I'll do is I'll make it into a like a, a box where I melt all the rice papers in okay with the camera this is from the Janini show and then I really like this one because I just thought I'm using all the colours in the chart paint and I've made it into my uh, my I've used the mediums and the gel mediums and I've made it into my beach combing box so quite like that and I've used all the mediums and there's a paint effect that I've used to get that effect and you can just see it on there can you see it's a paint effect that I get uh, I'm in two minds whether to do anything with this sorry if my hands look really bad it's just ink I've been messing so yeah but that's the gel medium layered on and, and stippled and stuff and this is the chalk paint you know you get that beautiful flat finish and then sometimes when you go down to the beach, you get like just near the water where the water pushes up the pebbles. Just did it. And then here I've just put some dark colour down to make it look like the sand's damp. I didn't know whether I wanted to interrupt this. So I was going to put some dots on it, but not on here. Just to keep it in line with it. But I really like that. You can see it there. You know, the little sandbar. <laughs> it's not, it's just where it went. I went a bit peeped on with the colour. It was wet, but I really like it. This side's nice. You know, with a foam. But yeah, I really like I'll show you how to do that. That's on Monday. I really like that. Yeah, it's a nice little present, isn't it? And it's only um simple it's a really simple techniques. But I didn't want to make it look like a blooming always let's all draw it make a box you know we'll say a quick hello to everybody hi denise hi susan hi emma hi linda hello jane hello sue hi karen not seen you for ages hi ruth hi linda hi emma hi linda sally judy don yeah, I'm just sorry for those people that have just joined in. Um, I'll move the paper back a bit. I was doing, I'm doing some paint techniques on Monday. And the first paint technique is something called, it's called, um, it, it, it's got many names, but it's called um, like a, a linen. It's called linen. And it's something I've been doing for many years. So I've left this to show you how easy it is to do. Um, and then there's a way of doing a, I can't show you because you can't see a fake tartan, which I've not quite finished. But you get the idea of the fake tartan weave. So it looks quite cool, but when I finished it, it looked better. But I'm finishing it on telly as well. Then I did this one, which is my my little uh, memory box. And I've really worked out. This is the hardest bit to do, this bit. This was the hardest bit to do. And I mean that in layers. There must be 10 layers on some of these because I didn't like them at first. I made them into different boxes. And again, whether I do something with this, 
don't know. But this is my little memory box. So this is rice paper all just torn up and stuck on. It's not all over, but the trick with the chalk paint is to make it look like it's all one. So, and it's really easy to do. And then some really fine chalk painting with really simple flower doodles. So you can see that one a bit better. Let me just try and bring it in a bit like that. In fact, to show it you like that, you can see the, the whole technique. Very easy, I've not even finished tidying it. Then there's the back. And then there's the other side. I'll show you the big the big little box. <laughs> there it is. So you can sort of get the feel for it to come in like this. so I'll show it you that way as well and then not forgot the sides but they all continue you know one's got more of a beach feel that side but I just didn't what I didn't want what I didn't want right was beach sea I didn't want that at all so I hope you like them and then it shows off the paint really well because you've got a great matte feel You've got lots of colours that are a hues are nice on them, but you've also got like the mix, the mediums and the gels and stuff that work really well to get that effect. And this is uh, white paint and gesso, but I will show you the technique that I've got. And then you can see what I might do is just put a glisten on that. So, yeah, I thought I'd show you them. Quite like them. Oh, I could show you the tartan that way, couldn't I? There we go. doesn't look right at the moment but that's only halfway done that's halfway that's starting halfway that's more or less sort of done ready for the next bit and then the next bit are these fake tartan bits that i'm going to finish and you can see there's a bit of glisten with them as well so hopefully that's giving you an idea anyway i think i think i've got to say I like them all, but that one gave me the most problem at the beginning because I had another idea. You can see colour. Um, and I just don't know, I don't like it. And then I just had it. oh my gosh, yeah, I could do that. And now I'm going to do this on, my, on the front covers of my books now because I just think it's great. I've got this little one coming up by Janina and I'm thinking it might even look good on that because you can still, you can do it on any any surface not done inside so yeah i'm quite happy with them now they sort of fitting all together like that that goes in there and then that goes in other one um but yeah i've got a bit of painting them together oh i'm not doing that now sick all day so what i thought was you've got some nice paper i really like the next flower one of my favorites got wooden garden so i did a little sketch before well yesterday did a little sketch oh we're out of focus yeah right um i did a little sketch and i thought i'm just going to concentrate on the flower itself do, do it quite big um I don't know whether to use that paper or that one because it is longer than it is wider. But it is only a study. Let's do study style. No, we'll do it on this because I'll tell you why this is better watercolor paper. So all I've got is a rubber, some pencils. I've got my two bits, one of my favourite old ones as you can tell. But I have got a new holder with it. Um, mechanical. And a couple of pens. That's all I need. That does not look right. Why? Why does that not look right? Better. Right, okay. I'm just going to sharpen. Oh, I can't. Full of gunk. Does 
a new little guillotine for your pencil sharp sharpening is it now and it's it's like a creme de la creme but it's like a little baby guillotine not guillotine uh like a um a plane it's a scissor plane uh, a pencil plane and you go look at he's greater we'll get my fingers on it though right we're quite near now but i'm hoping that that's okay so i thought we could do um a simple like iris we could do some water studies and colour studies to go with it. So let me just check if everyone's Oh right, I'm just seeing if anyone Hello, 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 hi. Hi Val, hi Jackie. Thank you, Emma. Oh, I'm glad you like them. Thank you. Really easy to do. Judith, you get the boxes from Pen Art. They're bringing them on on um Monday. So bank holiday Monday. <laughs> Oh, it makes me laugh, that. Makes me laugh. Anyway, let's get going. So, first of all, we're going to sort of say, are we going to do one in the centre or are we going to do a couple? So the first thing we're going to do is, I'm going to draw a couple, I think. I'm going to give myself enough room. So, very much an oval to start with. And then, it's, it's an oval but not too big that might be a little bit too big so there's one looks like a little baby bird doesn't it right it won't stay like this in fact it might even be like that you could put either on so you could put them like that or more drop down so we've got a oval. Now we see, we see the back of this because the flower, this is at the front. If you think that this is the bit that comes forward and that's the bit at the back. So we may slim this down, we might make it smaller because we don't want it out of proportion. See what I mean? Let me just show you. See, we've got this now well if i was to draw that it could be more in proportion it could look a bit odd either way that's what we're aiming for all right so then we've got our it's entirely up to you but, uh, the next thing we're going to do, oh, we could do some buds as well. The buds are quite easy, so we can leave them till later. So the next thing we're going to do is this bit here might need to be a little bit of a bit smaller. So we put a wobble on it. Can you see just a wobble around the edge? Because if you've noticed, irises, if you have a look at an irises, they're very beautiful and, and the sort of wibbled black, you know, the lines on that. We're not going to draw those lines yet. Don't draw them. Don't draw them. Stop. So, the next thing we're going to do, right, is pick one of those. I'm going to pick the top one. Get rid of them so just to show you. Right. So we've got them. What we're going to do is just about halfway. Maybe no, about about to the bottom there. Just draw a line. You're gonna rub that out in a minute. And we're just gonna go like that. Now this is only my interpretation of an iris. This is not like what everybody might perceive. They might see it's slightly different. I really don't worry about that. I worry about what I perceive as mine. Now what I want to show you is something else I forgot to do. Rub out that line there because we want to make this forward, that back and this the centre. So if you think that that is going to be centre but we won't do it just yet because it doesn't fit in there so the next thing is we'll put a wibble over that so we've got this wibble going around now 
okay and the next thing is we're going to look at this here so we've got to look so we've got this coming out this is a bit strange because it's going to come out of here so we've cut a bit of a corner off of that again a bit of a corner off it round up gap That looks a bit big. So what I'm going to do is that. Right, so we've got like a dog with a big lump on its head. So this is the next bit, which will, may trick you a little bit, but don't be worried. Do not, just follow what I do. So here, what we want to do is we want to make the leaf look like it's turning over. So a wibble and a wibble if you want the wibbles more up here have them more up there but either way this is like the, the petal folded over I'm going to leave mine which one should I do I'm not too sure whether I want it I'll change all this in a minute you see as we go on but at the moment I'm looking at a wibble wibble So that looks really strange, but leave it like that. The next step is to just put a line there. I'm just putting a triangle on the top looks very strange you know but we don't want anything too big do you know what I mean we want it to be sort of this is just me sizing it up now so yeah right so we've got some big petals coming up here and big petals coming up here I think this is going to be a little bit big unless I make that really big a bit bigger I should say so I think I've got to make this a little bit bigger I think it'll be a bit lost yeah that looks a bit better right so what we've got is our wibble now what we've got is a a wibble there and one is on top of the other you get me so okay like that so you basically you're going doing one and then you're letting one be seen on the other side okay really it there's a lot to this but I know you can do it I absolutely know you can do it now This is the petal at the back. So it comes off the top, comes down. Don't forget we've got that shape there. This is quite a... It's quite a, a tricky one, it is. But I know you can do it. I'm not at all worried. Because when we draw, when we get rid of a lot of the lines, you'll notice it, it does change dramatically. So we've got this iris happening. We've got the abs absolute sort of idea of a shape. It's very raw at the moment. It's absolutely ridiculous. But when we start to put in lines, now these look stupid, don't they? Like deputy doggies. So what we're going to do is put a wibble on those again we've got a wibble there 
and the wibble there it starts to make it look very different I think I might even put a, a sort of really big wibble there there we go so we've got our main bud at the top well it's not it's the top part of it the iris sort of extending here the flower overlapping there we've got stuff we've got our petals coming here what we need to do is just very very like that and then everything comes from there but if you want one it looks like it's got stubborn a lolly on it so let's have a quick look. It's going to go in with a three or a five. One with a three. So I'm just going to go in with some fine line now. If I can. I don't think there's out left on this. So I might change. So I've got this one. This is where it might change a bit. a bit at the back Okay, so we've got our basic drawing, very rudimental, rudimentary. Got rid of all the lines, so we can put some drawing detailing, which always makes, always, always. You see how it looks better now? you got the basic colour in. You can add colour to this straight away if you want or not. It's entirely up to you. Um, in the middle here, I'm just going to put in some dots and lines. Where it's darker, I put a few more lines in. So I'm just putting the dots in just to give it that little depth. Okay, so we we're going to look at the the shapes now where it would be um, quite dark. So I'm just going to put in a few little. where it'd be, you know, the, the dots where the shading would be. So I'm going in with the number eight, just to give it a bit of depth with the dots they won't stay with the dots so because I'm going to put some cross hatching in as well 
There we go. So we've got that there. Looks a bit dull at the moment, doesn't it? But we've got some amazing, you know, we can put some patterning in now. So I'm going to go back to the thin one. And it's a real... We've got to, and I'm working from a sketch, don't forget, so. I'm just putting some little lines there. They're almost like eyelashes. So that you get the idea of it starting to move forward. Then here. Put some cross hatching in. Like that. And then I'm just going to put some small dots in where and it just mixes the two together, otherwise, it looks a bit strange. But the lines give you a bit more texture. So I'm not going to put lines in where the flowers, so, uh, the petals sort of move up and down because it starts, when I did do it first, um, what I was drawing it ended up looking more like a rib cage and I didn't want that so um, just a few dots I think really gave the impression of it. And not too many it gives the impression of it crinkling but not to the point where it's honestly some of the ones i did they were really like seriously like um rib cages and i didn't want that it just it didn't work out I'm doing it really lightly and I'm changing the movement to try and give the impression, say, giving the impression of it. Now what I've done is I've made it so it looks like it's That way. Get my other pen. Put some more dots in there because it'd be very bright this bit. That should be it should be a little bit that big, I don't think. It's a bit better. And anyone who knows me knows I've always drawn with dots. It's getting quite popular, I must say. It's not a dig at people. Well, it is, I suppose. But it's not meant as a nasty one. It's just, it's true. It's just getting very popular to draw with dots. It's like, you know, um, trends and things, isn't it? So here I'm using a finer pen just to work down some of these lines. I'm going over some of my dots simply because
Right, and all I'm doing is bringing some lower and some more depth up here. Yeah, a few dots trailing around, give it a bit more of a bit more movement. Not my best, but I, don't, I really don't care. I'm not, you know, I'm not worried about whether I draw my best flower or not. I'm just, just as long as I'm enjoying what I'm doing. You can really start to sort of get your. You know, get your shading in if you wish. This is when it starts to come together because to me the dots just make everything. The dots will just allow you to do stuff that I don't think lines ever could. And sometimes adding dot is not what you need. You need a line. And that's cool. Just as long as you know where to put it. Quite happy with that now. So we've done an iris. It's quite a, a fat one. <laughs> fat iris. Um, but the bud's quite simple. The bud is... Um, they come out on one stem. So it'd be that's it, and they they are incredibly amazing to think that quite a big uh, head to it. It's a simple one to draw. You sort of it comes and it, it cups it. I like to say it cups it like that, you know, gives it a, like a support. I was like, I'm going to put three lines here just because it always makes it look a little bit better, lifelike. Not that it is lifelike. And then again, Sort of cups it like I'm just gonna wiggle like that. Just to give the idea of it more to be more to come. You know, like all that is bulging in there. It's getting there. It's sort of like, oh, there's more to come in there. And there we go. Just a little few lines, just because there's lines on this. Just help to make that and this helps to make it look fat I like it's bursting so we've got our center iris with our bud which is a really nice one um do you know what we've not done leaves for ages should we do a leaf let's go back to one of my earlier books and see what we have drawn I know, what about, um, I've got in my garden, and I love them, um, a hosta, um, and I do love it, what 
What's that other one I've got? Is it a maple? Um, I wish I remember there's one. I can never remember the names. Oh, I know what. A rose is a good one. Oh, I know. Yeah. Um, and whenever I draw it, the kids are always, always thought it was some sort of drug. You know, like. I've got a feeling should we do it on here or should we do it here? No, I think this should be something Irish related here. If that's a study sheet. Let's go for Okay, let's go for a leaf shape this time. All leaves are basically smaller versions of the tree. That's how I look at it. I'm not saying that that's the rule, but normally you look at the shape of a leaf when you hold it up, the outside leaf shape, the outside shape is the tree shape. And it's really weird how it, it works, but it's true. So I'm just putting a center line down there. It's a bit wibbly wobbly, it doesn't matter. And I'm just at increments, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? And then I'm gonna notch it down or up Okay, don't stop here, we're not stopping here. So, draw lines that come right off, like that. Get comfortable so that some people prefer to draw them so they go straight up. Now I find it a bit difficult, I have to draw mine to the side. You don't need a ruler, but you've got that shape, okay? Now this isn't, isn't how it's staying. This is not how it's staying. But we've got our basic shape. As long as we adhere to that, it'll be fine. And then we've got the branch here. Now you could leave it there if you wanted, but I don't want to. What we're going to do is look at the leaf. And it starts always. So if we know... That we give our leaf that much room okay so that much room either side then we know we're going to start on the same shape because if we don't it'll look odd all right so the last one basically is the starting one so we'll leave that till last to fit it in so we're not going past our outside lines we're not going past our inside lines and the shape we want is that Okay, so quite small at the begin at the front, so it's round. So I put a big C at the bottom, up to the top, up to the top. Now, if you find that it looks a bit odd like that one, because we're coming back in, I think what I need to do is make it a bit slimmer. See, I'm trying to fit that in there. It don't work right, so it needs to be out. To get there, it needs to come out. And this one is the same. See, don't try to fit it on like that, it don't work. You're making it too big. So, you will get shapes of leaves that are slightly smaller here and there. They grow at different rates. Now I'm doing it quick so you can see that all right so 
we've got some nicer shapes and some that aren't so nice and I think the problem with this is that we get a bit um, I get a bit over the top it's similar to an ash but it's not an ash an ash is a bigger one at the top um, so what I'm going to do is now it's two need my glasses on a bit I'm going to take the time now and just clean up the edges. There we go, that looks better now. I'm happy with that don't have to do this it just gives me better muscle memory than what I've actually got because what I've got at the moment is a bit higgledy piggledy Yeah, it's driving me not. I'm not. I'm ignoring him. So we put our end one in like that, and then what we can do is drop in. Our branch and do it so it hits the bottom of each of these. And then we draw our little doodads on or whatever they're called, stem things. And now we've got quite a, a nice pretty flower, which, a flower? It's not a flower. Where does that come from? A nice pretty sort of leaf. So what I'm going to go now is go in with the pen having used a pencil to hopefully iron out any dodgy lines that I'm not happy with So put the little pen marks, like your little joins, and let your mess muscle memory get to work. This is a really good one to use if you're doing lots of florals. It's easier to draw like this. Now, before I forget, I'm just going to go, and I'm not going. A straight line I'm going to each little stem thing so I'm not going over that I'm going to it stop start stop so that it's working it, it generally gen, genuinely looks like it's going up there and not just and again the stem here That's well dodgy, but we'll have to do something with it. Now, when I draw, I tend to have an idea of what I'm going to draw. And then by the time I've drawn it, because I'm a very loose drawer, 
I tend to say it tends to look like a hybrid. <laughs> so I can never say for sure what one of mine is. It's a made up, it's like an electric car. It's a hybrid. So here I'm just joining up. So we've got that, quite like that, looks okay. Now I'm drawing the heart line or the vein or stem, whatever. Now this can go halfway, three quarters or to the tip, it's entirely up to you. But I am doing it centrally. Now I've got it like this. Bit, as you know da, 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 da. I always like that it's like oh it's actually better because you can see it not perfect not brilliant but better so we've got a really nice outline now of you know that we could draw that and we could trace it and do loads of them draw it once we cut uh, photocopy it you know scan it in make it different sizes you know, and at the end of the day, this then would be become your backdrop. So we do lines like that. And I'll just show you what I've done. I took, that's the centre one, and I'm just going... Okay, so it's then uh, we're all together. And they're just off. Like the like this here, you know, they're not lined up one's a little bit lower than the other and it's the same on these so if i do that then this one is just you can hardly see it, but i i know it's a different i don't put too many on that but if i show you it's a tiny bit to one side I'll do it go this side as well. You get quite loose with it if you want, but it's a, it's your drawing. It's a study. It's a study in a, in a leaf. Okay, it's a hybrid, but it's a study and it doesn't matter. Getting a bit too flamboyant with these now. Now a lot of you may be able to do better leaves and better studies, that's absolutely fine. I'm only showing you how I can do mine, some of them, but it doesn't mean that these are right. Just to give, to me, always do this, just to give it a little bit more authenticity and a little bit more difference, you know, start to put on the sun. Like little dodgy bits that may have damaged the leaves or changed the colour or whatever. It just gives it that little bit of originality. Like that. Adds to it. Don't have to. I hope there's something to be said though for making it your own. Because we can all draw it now. 
but we don't want it all to look the same otherwise I'd tell you to buy, buy the stamp of it we want the, 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 the sort of outline and the, and the main part of it to look but with drawings and sort of freedom of your own artwork you take a basic shape and make it your own you don't just copy there's no fun in that you want to know what your drawing style and painting style is and yeah using other people's is brilliant that's how everybody learns making sure that you say where you get your ideas from and go on the internet there's plenty of books and drawing books and everything out there but even if you have a drawing book that still doesn't always help how you start you sort of can lose a little bit like yeah but it says do this and you're like well but what does that mean and where does it go and so we've done quite a nice little loose leaf I'm just going to pop in so show you why just on one side quite dense near there and then quite loose quickly by that I mean quite dense on one side and loose I'll show you as I come up so we go quite near together and then loose quickly does that make sense I'll do it again here so anywhere that there would be a shadow I could put a little bit of shading in with a pencil that I have always drawn well all my stamps you can tell going back from when I very first started they all had dots on just gives it a bit of depth especially if you go quite close and now what I've done is by doing that bit first I can go closer with my dots right at the beginning and I get a better sort of feel to it looks neater and it's not as difficult to blend so you do you this is very much like putting a medium a, a light and a dark so there's the light with the little dots medium is that bit there that's helping to build it all and dark is only a small bit that's quite near to where you need it and I'll be honest with you this is one of the most simplest and easiest ways of getting a really good result quickly easily without the daunting task of trying to blend in shade and blend in shade it's quite daunting that whereas if you do it like this you get confidence and then, then you can go on and do you know the Mona Lisa if you want but you can see now I'm sat on a you can see we've got that stem coming down we've got this here we can add some more just to bring it out even more What I would do here now, just here, if I was doing this again at a different time or more time, I'd have one of these tiny little elements, right? And draw it really big there and have it as a real focal element because I think, um, so for instance, you know, could draw it now if you'll just do this is not a study because I haven't got the real one with me but what I'll do is I'll just draw a study of it and this is what mine would look like and 
there. And then So I put some like little bits of maybe that's too big, but I wouldn't worry too much. And then Don't remember, uh, don't forget, don't remember, don't forget that different dot can be achieved with different pen edges. So let's have a look. I should have left it to dry, really. But. So I've got my studder of that there, which really gives it a nice sort of really taking time to look at it. Um, No, on one side only. Let's blend that. Blend it out. Clean up your edge. Make that quite dark there. It's exactly what we did with the dots. So you put the main body on, blend it out. And the very last bit is the darkest bit again, gone over. There you go. If you just put that then it doesn't feel like it's floating. That could be on the table looking at us. And if that's the case then we'd have a bit of shade in here. See? Really simple. So we've done we've done a lot today in an hour. So we've done a study of like um I think it is an ash or similar. Um, an iris, which is very stylized, so it's quite a, a like a cartoony one. So we've done a lot, a lot. My eyes have gone squinty. I'll show you these, which I'm really proud of. Um, so yeah, I'm and enjoyed myself totally needed that moodle today um hope you did the last moodle now i'm afraid is it tomorrow um i'm just trying to think now tomorrow might be my last moodle now till wednesday because um, obviously sunday i'm at the studio monday i'm at the studio tuesday i'm busy Oh, t Tuesday I'm visiting my aunt as normal, Wednesday I'm working, so it might be Wednesday afternoon when I see you next, so it might be tomorrow and then Wednesday, so have a lovely, lovely day today, I'm going to crack on with this stuff for Janine's one day special, um, and I will see you all tomorrow, so thanks for everything, and take care, and see you soon, bye!